Hey guys, this is Eric. And this is Andre. And, and that's a wrap. That's a, that's a wrap. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's, do it together. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, hey guys, this is Eric. And this is Andre. And that's, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. See, I don't know the cadence. Like, I don't know the, the beats you're trying to, like. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, Andre, where are we going today? We're going to go to this dope place in Carson. It's called Bob Boys, right? And, um,. So there's this place, it, they used to do catering, like really traditional Filipino food catering, but now they do um, fusion. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, you were telling me last night Bob Boys has a special name. What does Bob Boys mean? Bob Boy just means like pork or like fat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's like, it's definitely the kind of culture I'm messing with right now. I can see the stars up in my eyes. I can hear Sinatra in my mind Fly me to the moon and let me play among the sky Orion, Ursa Minor, Gemini, constellations die Hey, it's That's Rap here at The Boys. Um, we're gonna start off with some melon juice. We got some melon juice, but that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of awesomeness. Uh, right here, we got seasick fries. Um, oh, no, they're not seasick fries, they're seasick potatoes. I'm so excited, I don't even know what we're getting right now. That's how awesome it is. Um, so, seasick is like a Filipino pork. Hey, uh, Dre, wanna tell us a little bit about seasick and the kind of the jam that's going on here? Yeah, we got the seasick tot. So, what seasick is, is usually it's the. Uh, it's the pig face, right? So Filipinos get all face off on you. They'll cut off a pig's face and like chop it up and just like fry it in in like vinegar and like chili and garlic and it's just this amazing thing. Um, not the best for you, but like, is pork really the best for you? We also, look at this beautiful cross section. We got a Ticino burrito right here. Ticino is a delicious breakfast meat, but it can also be a lunch meat or a dinner meat. Whatever meat you want, just eat it whenever because it's delicious. Um, and this is the, uh, the lumpia burger. Uh, we're getting all these things. You could say we're on a roll because it's like a it's like an egg roll, um, but Filipino. You know what? Let's eat. Hip-hop is my house, homie Going, closing on the escrow I'm burning up the phonics like I'm bombing on the metro No need for bread, I be getting fed when I don the headphones So wet your biggie quote on my headstone Hit lies, sicker than your average Cause of death, being fresh Paul bearers do a two-step, yeah My procession be kicking like Liu Kang Hands in the air, be doing the Wu-Tang Wu-Tang Cause I'm misunderstood A Filipino bread in a mostly white hood Wait. A Filipino bread, that's pun to sell Let it sink in a second, let the pun dissolve Now let the pun sit I'm cooking up your noodle Pituitary medulla, I want the kick a boodle My brain is simulation It's actually a lumpia patty Like they made a patty out of it And they wrapped it up Which is super dope And I think the bread and the egg make it more like a complete thing Right? Like the thing I was missing back in the day was Oh, this is kind of it, you just dip it and you kind of munch on it. But adding it to a sandwich makes it more of a, a complete sentence, you know what I mean? And like the Filipino coleslaw salad was in there and it, it made it refreshing and it was just like, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's cool because like, um, I think Filipino food can be a little intimidating to a lot of non-Filipino food eaters. This is super delicious, and it really brings out a lot of those flavors of the culture, all the flavors I remember eating Filipino food as a kid, but it's not like overly crazy. You know what I mean? It's not like intimidating. It's just a good breakfast burrito. I think you're just using regular cheese, but that cheese is really good. Um, the garlic rice in there is incredible. I love egg. Egg was on that burger. Egg is on here, and I'm loving it. I'm having a really great time right now. Yo, okay. So these tots, right? Like, Filipino kid moves to America and has to get used to, you know, how Americans prepare potatoes, right? And there's this thing called a tater tot and it's just basically like the crispiest 
thing of a potato, like if a potato was an animal, it'd be the crispiest part of the potato, right? But it, it takes me back to like those childhood, like trying to figure out what it is, but also like Filipino flavors on top. So it's like, you know, if I marry a white girl, that Filipino flavor on top of the, you get it, you get it. Yeah, yeah man, marriage. Yo, so we just ate at Bad Boys. There you go. Uh, Dre, what'd you think? Yo, it was super good. The burrito was like on point. Luke Yo Burger was pretty good. And then the CC Tots were like so fire. Um, I liked how like cheap it was, right? Cause like- in, it was super cheap. In, in yeah, LA, it wasn't that bad. Yo, in LA, that was clearly like a $35, $40 meal. Yeah. But we ended up paying what, like 20, 25 bucks. And I'll pay 35 bucks for like good food, but like, I didn't today. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that. Yo. Um, so yeah, that was delicious. Uh, I'm super full. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap um, soon. Uh, I've been Eric. Yo, I'm Dre. Thank you for watching That's a Wrap. Uh, but yo, are you thinking kind of what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Like tacos? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> That's a wrap.